Gaming Division. Salutations! I am Cameron and welcome to Gaming Division. This is going to be an unboxing for Ascension Dreamscape. Ooh. Where all your dreams come true. Now, being that it's Ascension, I'm going to bet that that's not the case. Uh, the world that this game happens in is a very tumultuous place, full of gods and characters, like, smiting things. So... Let's go ahead and open this puppy up and see what we got our hands on. I want to see something real quick. GoPro bendy footage. Yeah. Okay. So, of course, because it's Ascension, we have this nice little book that is not very long and it has large pictures for examples. Um, or pages worth to be exact. I like that they reiterate everything in their rule book. Um, I would love it more if they released a consolidated rule book for all their current updates, uh, even if it was just online, like just a web page that had it all there. So you could look at one place to read all the rules. Um, Dream Deck, fucking something else to deal with. Okay, so. <laughs> So here's the board. Um, I'll go ahead and just put it here. Uh, it's a very pretty board. Let's not mince words on this at all. Uh, their art is beautiful. Um, they do a really good job getting the production quality up. Um, you can see the cultist mission, the heavy infantry, the heavy infantry spots, um, the draw deck, the void. They put them together, which is awkward for me because usually there's like a flow going on. Um, and they put the honor pool at the end here. This is very different than how it normally is. Um, this is a board that I may actually switch to using. I think the one that I use is the uh, no, Rise of Vigil. I could be wrong. Um, no, I don't even use a board anymore. That's right, because I just white box it. So if you just know where things go, then you're pretty set. The board is helpful and it's nice. It's a nice thing to put out and, and show off though. Um, so let's do that. Da -da -da -da. Really? That's straight? Okay. Um, so the Dream Deck is definitely a new spot. Um, so we have the Dazzlers I hate. We also have something new. These look like eggs and or medicine. I can definitely see children thinking these are candy. Uh, please be careful, this was a huge error in judgment. The Dazzlers are bad enough, but this is actually worse. Um, this is like a taunting choking hazard. Ugh. Um, real quick, uh, just we've got a couple decks here. This is laid out very similar to the Dawn of Champions box. Uh, three big or four big packs this time. Let's go ahead and check underneath. Um, I like that they went to a new model for the insert where it's uh, essentially five slots. Um, but, and not the old inserts that were fucking horrible. But honestly, it's just still bad. <laughs> like, this is not a great insert to me, especially if you have multiple sets. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that all the time. We'll go ahead and put this up. Oh, and let's go ahead and do these. What I got excited about was that on the militia that's showing on the, the, the starter card deck. Um we uh these this, this is the same uh card type from uh Donna Champions. So this oh I missed counting. Two, three, four, five. That's not a good sign. Hopefully, one of these other ones has the rest of them. Because uh, normally, like if you have support for four players, you have eight. It's not that one. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm invested in figuring this out. This is really uh, quite interesting how they decide what order these go in. Okay, so here's the rest of the militia. There's, there's our eight militia. Uh, we've got the same apprentices from before, um, and Dawn of Champions. Of 
course, we've got Mystics uh, and Heavy Infantry. It's the same female Heavy Infantry from before. And uh, the same Cultist, too, which is actually interesting uh, on its own. We've got some gold-bordered cards that have the egg shape up there. Um, let me get that a little bit closer so you can see that. Um, it's reversed, so I can mirror that. Yep, okay. It'll be all right. Um, so these are apparently dream cards. They're back the same. You can't tell, so apparently they do go into your hand. Um, let's open this last one up and then we'll go through and we'll see what we got in our goodies. Wee, wee, wee. Okay. Oh, I don't like that at all. They have a new logo. Okay, so let me show this off to the camera as well. Uh, there, if you notice there, it says Dreamborn. And, uh, so apparently there's some way that you can do this where they're born or summoned from dreams. I don't fucking know. Uh, it'll have a rule in the rule book, I'm sure. They're pretty good about that. Um, sorry, I get the cost 8 hero, like gain 5 power. You may spend power as though it was dreams this turn. So that's the type of thing. We're going to see dreams popping up here a lot. Um, and sure enough, it's gain a dream here, do this. Um, oh, interesting. Uh, I did not expect this for some reason. Um, ephemeral Ritualist, uh, gain 4 power, then banish this. Um, Deluding Gin, it, like, yeah, the theme very much is, hey, we've got dreams. Um, I'm not seeing faction monsters pop up, so if that's such a limited thing, I'm really disappointed. I was hoping that they would kind of keep that up. Um, now we have also dream constructs. Let me go ahead and show that off. Um, we'll do it right there. So yeah, so dream constructs. Uh, once per turn, when you acquire a card from your dreamscape, you may add a card to your dreamscape. And I don't even know what a dreamscape is. Jeez. Okay, so I'm behind. We're going to have to look at the rules and figure this out. Uh, we have very specific dream heroes, which I'm assuming kind of fall the same. Jesus. Okay, that was a bad example I have on top. Uh, Pasea the Aegis set cost seven dream. Uh, this here counts as all factions. Gain three rune, three power, three honor. If you control the size ward, you may acquire this without paying its cost and put it into your hand. Five honor. That is a uh, beast of a card for sure. Um, and we'll drop it in there. Oh yeah, these are all dream cards too. Uh, of course, the size ward. Now that one is not. It's a. It's not even a dream construct. It is uh, just a five rune. Three honor, uh, once per turn, gain a dream. I'm assuming that's what that currency is. I don't know what... Is it dream dollars? I don't I don't know. Um, more dreamborn stuff. Uh, constructs. Lots of uh, ways to gain dreams. They really uh, ham this up. So I'm really concerned about this mechanic uh, getting mixed in with the others because... Someone's going to be like, well, what do I do with these dreams? And then other people are going to be like, well, I've got a card that does dreams, but I can't gain any dream and, or any dream dollars. I'm going to call it that regardless, I think. I think that's going to be a new thing, uh, and that's just going to be how it is. Yeah, so, yeah, lots of pretty art. I'm not going to go through each and every card individually. Um, oh, wow, really? Just give me a moment. I'll consult the rule book, and we'll figure some of this out together. Okay, so I, I consulted the rule book, and we found out a couple things. Dream dollars are actually insight. I didn't make that up. It's just what it is. I don't get it. Um, and then, supposedly, you have a new trade row that is involved here, and it's actually that each player gets their own. It, it seems like at any point in the game, like you're supposed to have three cards in front of you that are uh, vision cards. It's what the uh, the symbols with the egg up top are. The ones with, oh, geez, Call of Darkness. Eight, Insight, Void, Dream, Vision. Banish up to five cards in your hand and or, dis or, or discard pile. Uh, ugh. Um, so you definitely you draw five and you pick three to put there in the beginning. And my impression is that you replace them once you, uh, you buy them up. 
because um, you can keep acquiring insight throughout the game, so why, why wouldn't you do that? Um, now, in fairness, I didn't actually read that. Uh, I may have skipped over it. <laughs> oh, man. So it does not say that you replace those cards, but it does say that everyone should have easy access to the Dreamscape. I, maybe there's cards that tell you to draw from it. I, I'm unsure. I'd have to look through the cards a little bit closer, and maybe I'll do that. Um, but it does say that vision cards are banished after they're used. It, it reminds me a lot of uh, soul uh, tokens. Um, oh, the dream board ability. So when they come into the center row, everyone gains one insight, and then when someone purchases that, they gain an extra insight. So it's almost it's really a better way to do energy, uh, and I can respect that. Um, Okay, so yes, so there is something like a loam summoner that says add a card to your dreamscape. So there are ways to do that. Um, and I'm assuming there's no limit on the number of cards because I definitely didn't see that either. Uh, oh man, okay, so uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been an unboxing for Ascension Dreamscape. Um, yeah, I don't. No, what <laughs> to feel about this? Um, I like that they put in a new mechanic that like does not affect. Like I was thinking that like it wouldn't come up. You, if you play with dreams, you all play with dreams and they're always in effect. You may not gain insight very quickly, but they're always there and available. And I like that a lot. Um, but until you see me next time, I am Camera. This has been an unboxing for uh, Ascension Dreamscape. Uh, thank you for watching, and that's. Game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.